So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session guys we are going to talk about the news from PIB from 19th to 22nd of August 2022. Don't worry, char din hai, but news bahut zyada nahi hai. There are uh, only 13 questions in today's session because is period mein ek din Saturday Sunday tha, do din Saturday Sunday tha. Right, so there are uh, only 13 questions in today's session. All right. So let's begin with the session without any delay. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. And the link for this channel is provided in the description, guys. All right. So let's talk about the very first question. Very, very important question for the upcoming NABAD examination. I believe this question will come exam. If the examiner is aware, then he will definitely ask this question in your examination. So question number one, name the online marketplace feature that has been launched by Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring. Mr. Purushottam Rupala is the minister in the Matsa Setu mobile app. So I hope you all know this, that there is a Matsa Setu mobile app, which was launched under Pradhan Mantri Matsa Sampada Yojana by this ministry. So in this app, there is a new feature that has been added by this ministry. So you have to tell the name of that feature, right? So this feature is nothing but an online marketplace feature. It is an online marketplace feature which will allow the fishermen to do the marketing of their products, right? And the name of this feature is Aqua Bazaar. What is the name? It is Aqua Bazaar and it has been launched in Matsetu Mobile App. Now this will help the fish farmers and the stakeholders to source the inputs like fish seeds, feed medicine and whatever the services which are required for fish culture all right so basically it is a marketplace which will provide a, a place to the fish farmers and the other stakeholders to sell their products online to source the inputs to buy the inputs everything will be there all right now talking about this much to say to mobile app so do remember that this app was developed by icar central institute of freshwater aquaculture which is located in bhubaneswar which is of course in odisha and the funding support for developing this app was provided by National Fisheries Development Board. And this app basically, ये क्या करता है? सारे stakeholders जो कि fish culture के लिए काम करते हैं, उनको एक जगह पे लेके आता है. Right? So do remember, it was developed by Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture. And the funding uh, for this, for developing this app was given by National Fisheries Development Board. Alright, and now let's come back to the question. What is the name of this? Feature it is uh, Aqua Bazaar. Option C is the correct answer, guys. Moving ahead to question number two. Again, very important question. Such Bharat Mission Grameen. Now, do remember there are two uh, variants of Such Bharat Mission. One is Grameen and one is Urban. Grameen is being implemented by Ministry of Rural Development, while the Urban Wala component is being implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Now, please don't get confused in this. And currently, the phase two. The currently, currently the phase two of such Bharat Mission Grameen is going on, right? So SBM Grameen has recorded a milestone of 1,1462 villages declaring themselves as ODF plus. Which state has the highest number of ODF plus villages in India? Which state in our country is the highest number of ODF plus? Hai? Basically, which state is the best performing state in sustaining the ODF status, right? What is the meaning of ODF plus? The ODF plus villages are those which are successful in sustaining the ODF status. Open defecation free status which sustain kar pa rahe, unko bola jata hai ODF plus villages, right? So you have to tell which state is the best performing in, uh, performer in this. So let's talk about it. So what is the news? Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen has recorded a milestone of over 1 lakh villages uh, which have declared themselves as the ODF plus. So I have told you the meaning of ODF plus and remember Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen has a target basically the mission overall mission Swachh Bharat Mission not only the Grameen the Swachh Bharat Mission has a target of making India a healthy and a clean place 100% by the year 2024-25 which means the financial year 2025 is the target of making India a clean and healthy place right. Now, which states are the best performing states? So, number one, we have Telangana, followed by Tamil Nadu, Odisha, uh, Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh, right? So, you have to remember at least three, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Odisha. These are the three best performing states 
in uh, sustaining the ODF stage. So you can say these are the best performing states uh, in the ODF plus, right? So now, if I come back to the question, the correct answer is option A, Telangana, because that is the best performing state, right? Option A is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number three. Jal Jeevan Mission has achieved a new milestone by providing 10 crore rural households with safe and clean drinking water through taps. So I hope you all uh, know about this mission. Jal Jeevan Mission, it is also known as Har Ghar Jal Mission. Har Ghar Jal Mission. Under this, the Ministry of Jal Shakti has a target to provide the tap water connection to all the rural households by the end of 2024. Right. And till now, 10 crore rural households have been provided with the tap water connections. Right. So the question is, which aspirational districts in Punjab has 100% coverage under the mission? Which means, which district in Punjab uh, has provided the tap water connection to all the rural households in that district? Right. So let's talk about it. What is the news? The news is this only, that Jal Jeevan Mission has, has achieved a new milestone by providing 10 crore rural households that have water connection under the mission, right? And currently, as you all know, there are three states in the country and three UTs in the country, which have 100%, which have provided 100% coverage, or you can say which have provided the tap water connection to all the rural households in the respective states and UTs, which are these three states. These are Goa, Telangana and Haryana. And which are these three UTs? These are Puducherry, Dadra and Nagar, Haveli and Daman and Diyu. And Andaman and Nicobar Islands. And now we have studied in the class that Goa has become the very first state to, uh, 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 has become the very first Hargar Jal certified state, right? And Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman Diyu has become the very first UT, which is certified under the Hargar Jal Pariyojana or Yojana, right? Now talking about the aspirational districts. So these are the aspirational districts where 100% coverage under the mission has been provided. Aspirational districts, right? Total number of aspirational districts in country is 117, right? So in Telangana, we have three districts. These are Komaram, Bhim, Asifabad. Then we have Jaya Shankar, Bhupal, Palli, uh, Bhat Rabri, Kaat Gudam. Thode se ajeeb naam hai. Nor for the Northern Belts, theek hai? Of course, for Southern Belts, this is very easy. Kyunki main Northern Belts se belong karta hai, to yeh mele read karna thoda sa ho raha hai. I'm sorry if you guys... अगर आप में से कोई इस बात से फेंड हो गया है तो आई एम सो सॉरी पंजाब मोगा हरियाणा में मेवात एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश में चंबा राइट सो दीज आर द एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स वेयर द कवरेज अंडर द जल जीवन मिशन इज नाउ 100% राइट सो द क्वेश्चन वाज अबाउट द पंजाब डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट इज मोगा ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 Consider the following statements with respect to Grami Nudyami project and you have to identify the correct statement. Now remember it is in news because the phase 2 of Grami Nudyami project has now been launched. Right. So let's talk about it. Grami Nudyami project has been launched by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship which is headed by Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. Right. Dharmendra Pradhan uh, is the Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and the second phase of Grami Nudyami project has been launched under uh, Sansadiya Parisankul Pariyojana. Sansadiya Parisankul Yojana. Now, why this project has been launched? So, as the name suggests, Grami Nudyami. So, it is for augmenting the skill training in tribal communities so that they can be uplifted, these communities. Right? Talking more about it. So, remember, it has been launched by National Skill Development Corporation, which works under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. In collaboration with Seva Bharti and Yuva Vikas Society, these are the non-governmental organizations which are working for skill development of the tribals, right? It has been launched from Rachi, which is of course in Jharkhand and the entire project will be funded by NSDC, National Skill Development Corporation, right? Now about this Yojana, details is ki mili nahi, mereko sansad, sansadiya parisankul Yojana ke baare mein. We have discussed in the PIB session that it is being implemented in six states. There is no information. There is no more information available about this mission. Right, so this Grammy Nudyami project is being implemented in these six states. Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Chattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand and Gujarat where we have a strong belt of tribals and the skill 
training will be provided in these areas like electricity and solar PV installation, plumbing and masonry, two wheel repair and maintenance, IT, ITES with uh, e-governance and farm mechanization. You don't have to remember this, just remember this, uh, that this project is being implemented in six states by NSDC, right? And uh, of course, the nodal ministry is the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Right, so now let's come back to the question, guys. The project has been launched by National Skill Development uh, Corporation in partnership with Seva Bharti and Yuva Vikas Society. This is absolutely correct. There is no problem with this. It is being implemented under Sansadiya Parisankul Yojana. This is also correct. It is being implemented in seven states. Is that so? No. It is being implemented in six states, not seven states. So only one and two will be the correct answer because we have to identify the correct statements. All right. Let's talk about question number five then, Ministry of Science and Technology, which is headed by Dr. Jitendra Singh and he is also the Minister of Earth Sciences, has announced 75 Amrit grants for biotech initiatives involving startups, industry, academia and research bodies. The question is, what is the range of the grant that will be provided under this initiative, right? Now remember, this is a joint initiative of Department of Biotechnology and Birak, which is Biotechnology Industry Research Association, uh, Research Assistance Council, not association, sorry. Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, which in short is BIRAC. So it is a joint initiative of DBT and BIRAC. And under this, 75 grants will be provided in the biotech sector for research and development, right? And the amount of grant will be in the range of 10 crores to 15 crores, okay? And uh, the time period for which the grant will be provided is two to three years. Two salo se teen salo tak ke liye dus crore se pandra crore ke beech mein provide karai jayenge to these uh, startups or any company which uh, which will work in the biotech industry for the research and development work, right? So that is all. Itna hi hai isme and ten crores to fifteen crore option B will be the correct answer. Now let's talk about question number six. Now from now onwards, the question will be the short, you can say the, the questions which do not require any explanation, right? So question number six, which ministry has launched Rashtri Puraskar portal to bring together all the awards of the various ministries, department agencies of the government of India under one platform to ensure transparency. Now all the awards will be, uh, you know, jitne bhi application invite honga, the application under all the awards will be uh, invited through this portal now, which is Rashtri Puraskar portal. And awards, Matla Yape, Jesse Padma Awards, Sotehe, Gopal Ratna Awards, Sotehe, right? Iskalava, Jo, or be Jitnevi Sari Awards, every awards, the application for every award will be invited through this portal only, right? So basically, to bring the uniformity in the awards, uh, this portal has been launched by Ministry of Home Affairs, which is headed by Mr. Amit Shah, and he is also the uh, Minister of Cooperation, right? Question number seven, with which international bank government of India has signed a loan agreement of 96.3 million dollars to provide safe drinking water and improve water supply and sanitation services in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Now, can you identify this international bank? That's very uh, easy question. This is Asian Development Bank, right? Asian Development Bank is the correct answer. Who is the chief of Asian Development Bank? It is Masat Sugu Asakawa. World Bank is headed by David Malpas. New Development Bank is headed by Marcus Prado Troijo of Brazil. And AIIB, of course, Jin Likan. And European Central Bank is headed by Christine Lagarde. Right? Here the correct answer is option C. Let's talk about question number 8. Where has the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's Defense Minister meet been organized and uh, it has been attended by the Defense Minister of India, Mr. Rajnath Singh from India side and Rajnath Singh Lok Sabha constituency is Lucknow, which is of course in Uttar Pradesh, right? So where this meeting was organized, so it was organized in Tashkent, which is the capital of uh, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is the capital of Tashkent, right? So in Uzbekistan's capital Tashkent, this SCO defense meet, meet was organized. Now, SEO mein jo recent member of admit hone wala hai, that is Iran. Abhi formalities puri nahi hui hai, but yes, agar exam mein question aya, ki koon sa hai member naya jo ki SEO mein jud raha hai ya jud chuka hai, the answer would be Iran, right? So, option A is the correct answer. 
Where has the National Conference on Role of Cooperatives in Agriculture Marketing being organized? Very straightforward and very direct question. कहाँ पे ये conference organized हुआ था? It was organized in Bhopal, the capital of Madhya Pradesh. Option A is the correct answer. Question number ten. Where has the National Workshop on Localization of Sustainable Development Goals (SDG) in Panchayats through thematic approaches on theme six? That is village with self-sufficient infrastructure being organized. ये कहाँ पे organized हुआ है? The National Conference for Localization of SDGs. So it was organized in Chandigarh. Option B is the correct answer. And there are total nine themes which have been identified by the Minister of Panchayati Raj for localization of SDGs. And these nine themes are this, right? Theme one is poverty-free and enhanced livelihood in village, healthy village. child friendly village water sufficient village clean and green village uh, village with self sufficient infrastructure based on which this conference was organized socially secured and socially just village village with good governance and women friendly village ab ye baith ke ratne ki zarurat nahi hai ek baar read kar loge to you would be able to uh, recall in the examination right uh, question number 11 with which state the department of administrative reforms and public grievances Has signed an MOU for conducting career building programs over the next five years. So DAR PG ne kons state ke saath MOU sign kiya hai for this purpose. Now remember this MOU was signed during a conference on uh, administrative uh, administrative development, and this conference was held in Ita Nagar. And Ita Nagar kahan pe? Ita Nagar is in Arunachal Pradesh, and therefore the correct answer is option C, Arunachal Pradesh. All right. Question number twelve. In which state, eleventh edition of National Seed Conference has been organized? कौन से state में National Seed Congress uh, inaugurate हुआ था? So remember, it was organized by <coughs> Vijay Rajay, Vijay Rajay Sindhya Agricultural University, Vijay Rajay Sindhya Agricultural University, which is in Gwalior. Now, can you tell me? ग्वालियर कहां पे है इट इज इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड देर फॉर ऑप्शन ई इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज सो स्पेशल अबाउट ग्वालियर राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ठीक है ग्वालियर एंड इनफैक्ट वन मोर टाउन ओरछा दीज टू टाउन्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश ग्वालियर एंड ओरछा हैव समथिंग स्पेशल अबाउट देम राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट्स व्हाट इज दैट स्पेशल थिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 13 अ बायर सेलर मीट हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय अपीडा एग्रीकल्चरल एंड प्रोसेस्ड फूड export development authority in collaboration with university of agricultural sciences bangalore to promote the export of a fruit so kaun se fruit ke export promotion ke liye this was organized right so it is dragon fruit option b which is also known as kamlam kamlam is also the name of dragon fruit option b is the correct answer all right guys so that's it for today's session i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear If you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and I will see you in the next session on Monday where will uh, where we will cover more news from PIB Press Information Bureau thank you so much goodbye take care and god bless